BMW and Toyota just announced their new hydrogen cars. As the planet continues to transition away from dependence on fossil fuels for electricity, batteries are becoming an ever more important energy storage strategy. Lithium-ion batteries have grown in popularity since they were initially made available for purchase in the early 1990s and now serve as the preferred power source for a wide array of electronic devices including drones, electric cars, and mobile phones. For use in electric vehicles and energy storage, the demand for lithium-ion batteries has increased exponentially. But what's next? Since the dawn of invention, this age-old query has always persisted in the human mind. The future belongs to hydrogen-powered vehicles. Moreover, BMW and Toyota are working together to produce a remarkable item. However, you'll have to wait until 2025 to be exact. You don't need to speculate because we are here to provide all the information you need. Well, hello and welcome to the Tech Edge. Today, we are going to see how a partnership between two of the biggest and most renowned automakers in the world aims to transform the auto sector forever. So let's get into the video. Since 2010, the demand for lithium-ion batteries has increased significantly, rising to around 530 gigawatt hours in 2020 from a meager 0.5 gigawatt hours in 2010. The ability of lithium-ion batteries to store a large amount of energy is the reason for this growth. Furthermore, Bloomberg predicts that demand will increase by 17% by 2030, bringing down the cost of battery storage. Additionally, recycling lithium-ion batteries are ridiculously expensive and challenging. Because of this, automobile manufacturers are starting to move away from lithium-ion batteries in pursuit of a more eco-friendly alternative fuel source for cars that is also more affordable to produce, maintain, and recycle. Hydrogen seems to be the best alternative to all this. Since hydrogen-powered vehicles don't release greenhouse gases into the atmosphere, hydrogen is the ideal energy source for mankind. And if you've taken a science class or two, you should know that these gases cause pollution. Besides, these cars can be refueled in three to four minutes and travel longer distances. Thankfully, two of the most renowned automakers in the world have plans to work together on the research and development of a whole new form of battery that will revolutionize the industry. According to recent reports, BMW and Toyota will have finished their joint development of a hydrogen cell-powered vehicle by 2025. According to Peter Noda, Head of sales at BMW, the two industrial giants will start jointly developing and marketing automobiles fueled by hydrogen fuel cells as early as the middle of this decade. The fact that BMW and Toyota have previously worked together should make this news unsurprising. Toyota's mid-size Mirai, which was released in 2014 and is currently in its second generation, serves as evidence of its expertise in fuel cell technology. The Mirai is entirely fueled by hydrogen and oxygen and does not have either a conventional engine or any kind of battery. Compared to vehicles fueled by lithium-ion batteries, fuel cell vehicles have several benefits. They get better MPG ratings and refuel up quickly, in 3 to 4 minutes. The one downside, however, is that even in California, where the majority of public hydrogen stations are located, the technology is not yet ready for widespread usage. BMW recently released the i4 Coupe and iX SUV, both powered by lithium-ion batteries, but the company has made it clear that they see hydrogen fuel cell technology as a potential future power in the search for alternative fuel sources. In a recent earnings call, Oliver Zips, the company's CEO, said that New Class, the organization's next-generation platform, will probably be built to accommodate the gaseous fuel in addition to pure battery power. The business has also in the past developed a strategy that supported internal combustion engines, plug-in hybrids, and fully electric propulsion systems under the name CLAR. Currently, this tactic was referred to as an all-of-the-above approach. BMW Blue was also able to move quickly with plug-in hybrids because of CLAR. However, the company's most recent efforts to create pure EVs have fallen behind those of its rivals. BMW Blue didn't want to pour all its investments into one technology. Needless to say, the company might soon ramp up EV development. Why? because pure electric cars have represented a larger slice of sales than previously expected, plus the company could reach its 50 sales target one or two years earlier. Hopefully, new class will learn from past mistakes and capitalize on a market that is not yet defined in the auto industry. New 3 Series sedans and X3 SUVs built on the platform will be on sale starting in 2025, giving the consumer the chance to decide. First though, how do electric vehicles powered by hydrogen fuel cells function? Since an electric motor is powered by electricity, fuel cell electric vehicles, or SCEVs, are comparable to all electric cars. Unlike other forms of electric vehicles which only use a battery to store electricity, fuel cell electric vehicles create their electricity using a fuel cell powered by hydrogen. 
Currently, the producer of the vehicle determines the car's power during the design phase. The size of the electric motor, which is powered by a fuel cell and an appropriately sized battery system, also affects the vehicle's power. Even though automakers could build an FCEV with plug-in functionality to charge the battery, the majority of FCEVs on the market right now use the battery to store the energy that is recovered from braking. As a result, the power generated by the fuel cell is smoothed out and provides extra power during brief acceleration events. When the vehicle's power requirements are minimal, the driver is given the option to let the fuel cell idle or turn it off. The entire amount of energy that can be stored on board is also determined by the size of the hydrogen fuel tank. In contrast to an all-electric car, where the size of the battery is directly correlated with the amount of power and energy available, this is not the same. BMW is one of the few automakers who think installing bulky, space-hogging batteries in a car is not always necessary when transitioning to electric propulsion. Additionally, it still sees promise in hydrogen technology. As a result, the iX5 will only be produced in small quantities during the second half of 2022. It's noteworthy that the German luxury label has already begun preparing for the future of fuel cell technology. This may be just for their internal problem solving, however, as recent quotes from Zips seem to indicate BMW's assurance of the technology in the future. We're already thinking about a possible future generation. Zips remarked on a recent call to discuss first half performance. And if the proposal is accepted, it won't be implemented soon because the current generation of the X5 is scheduled to have a mid-cycle refresh in 2023. This means that the next generation SUV won't hit the market until 2026. Nevertheless, the executive statement shows that BMW is serious about pursuing hydrogen as a fuel source. He also stated that hydrogen is the missing piece of the puzzle that can complement EV transportation in places where battery-powered machines are unable to gain traction. In comparison to a battery-powered car of equivalent size, the BMW iX5 hydrogen is an SUV that weighs less. And the reason for this is that it uses two carbon fiber reinforced plastic CFRP hydrogen tanks in place of two enormous batteries. 374 horsepower, 275 kilowatts is produced overall by the SUV. Furthermore, compared to a vehicle of a similar size, it produces more power. You see, refueling a hydrogen powered car just takes three to four minutes, making it as rapid as a car running on gas or diesel. A hydrogen-powered vehicle is also substantially lighter than a traditional electric vehicle, which is another factor. The BMW X5 is a sport utility vehicle SUV, that was designed by BMW to warm the inside cabin using waste heat. As with other hydrogen-powered vehicles such as the Toyota Mirai, the only emission is water vapor. The BMW X5 Hydrogen, a fuel cell SUV that is ready for production, will be the subject of the first vehicle reviews in Europe this fall, so all we have to do now is keep an eye on this space to discover more. So what do consumers have to say about this venture? Overall, it looks like consumers are not on board with this new idea. While they may have pretty good reasons to form such an opinion. According to some, this is a failure because hydrogen has to be green generated to be environmentally friendly. You see, refueling a hydrogen-powered car just takes three to four minutes, making it as rapid as a car running on gas or diesel. A hydrogen-powered vehicle is also substantially lighter than a traditional electric vehicle, which is another factor. The BMW iX5 is a sport utility vehicle SUV, that was designed by BMW to warm the inside cabin using waste heat. As with other hydrogen-powered vehicles such as the Toyota Mirai, the only emission is water vapor. The BMW iX5 Hydrogen, a fuel cell SUV that is ready for production, will be the subject of the first vehicle reviews in Europe this fall. So all we have to do now is keep an eye on this space to discover more. So what do consumers have to say about this venture? Overall, it looks like consumers are not on board with this new idea. Well, they may have pretty good reasons to form such an opinion. According to some, this is a failure because hydrogen has to be green generated to be environmentally friendly. Both companies have a history of being heavily influenced by carbon-based fuels. Plus, if they were serious about the environment, it would have released a pure electric i8. Consumers claim that it would have been more efficient in all ways. One user also said that Toyota should not be chasing this venture at the moment. They suggested that instead of this, the company should look around at the global investment of billions of dollars in battery plants, which are currently under construction. Plus, there's no scale of the economy when you choose a totally different path and this will eventually be a low-budget car that people will abandon. On the other hand, some customers don't agree with this point of view at all. They say that Toyota has been energy efficient for many years now. For those who don't know, the company released the Prius 25 years ago. These hybrid cars have been successful for millions of units, and there have hardly been any complaints. 
All things considered, hydrogen-powered automobiles are the wave of the future, but both BMW and Hyundai still have a long way to go. Are you excited to see what Toyota and BMW will be able to do in the future with hydrogen-powered fuel cells? Do share with us in the comments section below. And that's it for today. Thanks for watching. Make sure to like the video and subscribe to the Tech Edge channel for such interesting topics.